home office guys specifically i'll be showing you guys this side of my office which is my desk or the heart of my setup where i get all my work done and i just want to say thank you to our sponsor today fazebo for sending me the staining dust i am in love with it look at this cottage core style staining dust and it has tons of storage look at this big drawer right here for me to put all my supplies drawing tablets and planners and i have even more storage over here with these two drawers i keep all my gaming stuff here because i do have my switch connected to this monitor and there's a little bit of a hutch right here that i use to tuck in my drawing tablet and oh man i i'm i love this desk and there's another one right here where i keep miscellaneous things like my rgb remotes my other tour box the tour box is what i use for my creative ventures and the great thing about this is that it's a standing desk it has three levels it can go up to up to 110 feet i believe but this is the highest that i've set it at and oh man this has been critical to my productivity this fall season i put it up at this high since i don't want to cable manage that much and even then oh, it's so beautiful i managed to get everything to stick and another feature about this desk that i love is that it has this these hanging hooks on the side and i've been using it to keep my purse off the ground as well as miscellaneous headphones on the other side uh, and it's so big but at the same time it does not feel clunky and another thing that i really love about this desk is that the the shelf is built in it's raised and i'm able to keep my monitors and they're super sturdy look it's holding both of my two giant um 27 inch monitors really well this video may be sponsored but all opinions are my own i am in love with this desk and the great thing about the little hutch thing is that it has all the space i'm able to tuck in my webcam right here since i couldn't i, I thought i looked kind of cumbersome on my main desk so it's nice that i can just hide behind here on a microphone stand and you see all this space back here i still have my speakers and i was able to even put little knickknacks and i like how it's like raised slightly it just looks really nice guys and it's super sturdy too i also love that i'm still able to clamp in my microphone arm for my microphone um, because normally with dust like this it's really hard to kind of clamp anything in i'm glad that i can still clamp things in still have a front drawer and have like a raised shelf this is like not something i normally see in standing desks in this style and this is why i personally love this one a lot from all of the other ones that physipo is also selling on their website and this was fairly easy to build um you do need at least two people to build this i had the help from a friend and it did take um several hours it came in so many pieces i'll show more of it in depth in a studio makeover video um since this video is mostly a tour i just wanted to show you guys the final look and now let's get into the walls let's start off with this corner because i started to hang up some of my own artwork and mini prints um that i will have on my online shop soon um i have them on these grid wire display that i I use for my artist alley i also have an two more up there and they're like been the highlight of my setup i feel um there's also this anime poster that i got at this anime shop back in miami of kogias i'm a big fan of kogias i have this checklist um chalkboard checklist from walmart and it's been helpful for keeping me on track uh and oh it's really nice for me i never really like put up my own work before in my own room so it feels really nice because i i normally have insecurities about my art style not being um consistent but this is like a great way for me to um quickly glance at them some of my favorite pieces and also showcase them to you guys in these videos i definitely want to get more flowers and do more of this style since i think it looks really really cute another thing that i added was these fairy lights um i had this these in my last setup um it was sent to me for free from co power um i really like these they have different modes and i like that it spreads throughout my entire room pretty much um even though there's a little gap right there uh i love it and this time um since my ceilings are super super high i couldn't put up rgb strips all around so i decided to stop the wall right there and um segmented by using um vines that i found on amazon the rest is pretty much different knickknacks so i could pretty up the room i have this rgb um 
light with the moon but I don't like to turn it on since it's super bright and also it looks really bad on camera when it's turned on. Um, the sign I got from Dollar Tree I just passed the leaves through it and I try to have a lot of like flower very light. Um, the two things over here uh, I have Isabella and I have Mario. Um, Mario was given to me by a friend and these are actually clear all clear cloud shells. I don't know if it's like hard to see. I got them at five and below and I've been obsessed. I have another one over here holding in my Eevee plush and oh I love this thing. I can't wait till they get in different colors because as nice as the cloud one is it's kind of hard to see from far away. The slow sign I also got a Dollar Tree. Um, this like little shelf I also got a Dollar Tree and this uh, figurine Sailor Moon figurine was a gift and a lot of my knickknacks pretty much are from Dollar tree i will not get into this wall since this is part of my studio i'm mostly gonna focus on this side of the wall um the reason i chose the hello sign is because i wanted something welcoming um as i sit in my desk every day it's kind of really nice to come into a hello um it's really friendly and over here i decided to put more knickknacks um a lot of little plants i got these at michael's they're on sale for like 40 cents so i got a bunch of them i end up putting throughout my setup that you guys will see in my full studio tour um, but for now I just have my switch this is not the Animal Crossing edition this is just like a sticker as you can see it's peeling off and I have this plushie that I took from an old friend a while back and I have my Alex drawer um, and again I try to make everything white be for the most part since I like the pastel theme um, it makes it easier to blend with each other I even put white contact paper around my tablet and now don't worry it's not messing it up I'll make a video about that it's gonna be my studio makeover I apologize for jumping all over the place it feels like I have a friend over and I'm finally excited to show you what I've been working on so I'm just geeking off and with my microphone stand I decided to also put a vine on it um, I really want to get a white microphone but for now um, I this works perfectly fine I just wanted something to kind of like match my setup but for now because of this wood I like texture I think that it still works which is another reason why I really like the aesthetic of this desk because it makes it easier to match with everything my mouse pad is also from Amazon my keyboard is from Amazon I made a whole de um, separate dedicated video to that in the pop-up card and this um, I'll have a video on soon it's like my drawing remote you guys can see right here as I work and how I use it with my drawing and editing and on top of my Alex drawer I have this lamp from BenQ that they sent to me a long time ago I like this lamp it changes different colors um, depending on the mood not RGB but like you can go from like warm to super bright and right next to that I have my Davoom speaker that Davoom sent to me um, I actually have this connected to my switch because my monitors do not have speakers so this thing has been super convenient in that this is something i got super recently it's a little snow globe of atlanta since i kind of just moved here and i got this little ducky all right here some more of those little flowers oh, i got from michael's michael sometimes we having good finds and this is another figurine that i got in uh, from a friend a while back this is my demo dock for my switch when i don't want to have it connected to my monitor i can just slide that in there it's super nice and right behind there I actually have a galaxy projector I don't normally turn it on since it gets like super loud but I'll show you guys in one moment and I have my galaxy projector connected it was another thing that was sent to me for free on the channel and this is how it looks like it's really 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 pretty but I do not like turning it on too much um, but I, I like to have it tucked away behind there uh, just because I think my unit might be defective because it does get a little bit loud after a while but that's where I keep it so that way it doesn't stand out too much right behind my BMO. I forgot to mention that my calendar I got at Five and Below. Um, I, I love going to Five and Below and Dollar Tree, super cheap places to get a lot of decoration. And uh, right next to my Alex drawer, I have this little art cart that I keep in my markers and other art supplies. Uh, for now, I have these Arctic brush markers that I will have a video on soon that they sent to me. And I have some more art supplies from a haul that I'll be showing you guys. So I'm not going to go too much in depth into this one but I like having it tucked right next to my desk um, since it's really easy to grab and in my Alex drawer I haven't changed it much I need to organize it but the first couple of drawers is mostly a lot of cables and pens since I do review a lot of tablets here on the channel and in my second drawer 
uh, it's pretty much mostly the same. A lot of hard drives, a lot of cord gloves. I have a lot of these since I review a lot of tablets. And in this drawer, another massive cable and um, manuals I need to organize. <laughs> and in these last two drawers, that's where I keep um, a couple of techs um, and um, outlets. And in the very bottom drawer, that's where I keep some of my drawing tablet. I have them separated by these things so that way they do not get damaged. And right next to that is my heart fuzzy slippers that I got at Burlington. I really like these, even though I do have carpet, but it's been getting cold. And the little thing that I have right here, um, I also got this little thing from Five and Below. The pillow is also from Five and Below. It's a game on and I've been using it. <laughs> Um, as a footrest. In my chair, I got a new chair. It's an ergonomic chair. I reached out to this company, um, Instagram, and it's been a, such a life changer. I like the gaming chairs, but my posture is super bad that I needed something that had a little bit more support. And again, that's something I will cover a little bit more in another video. They did send this to me for free in exchange for a review. This is my cat and mouse paw. Um, I got it on Amazon, it's really cute. This thing I got from Five and Below, Five and Below has so many cute things. I use it to kind of support my neck since this um, chair does not have a neck rest. And now let's get to my PC. And here's my baby powering everything. I actually had her standing on this little riser that I also got on Amazon. I'll link it down below because it took me forever to find the right one that would fit my setup but that would elevate um, my desktop PC. And underneath there I have um, phone cases and all their miscellaneous um, tech, another keyboard, and right on top of it, I have my USB hub. And I made a separate dedicated video on how like I customized my PC and how I built it. So click up here in the pop card. I definitely need to fix the cable management in the back though. I need to get one of those like raceways so I could combine all those cables. But for now, I haven't been touching them because it makes it easier for when the standing desk is going up. And this is where I put my old gaming chair, my very first gaming chair right here. And I put this plushie that I got at this other anime store uh, in Miami of Hatsune Miku. Also, I wanted to add that I do not have RGB strips going back um, against this desk um, since that would be too much work for me to to do and i was too lazy so actually i'm using these rgb um i don't know what they're called but these were sent to me for free and i love them they're super bright and they have so many different modes and they're much easier to move around if i change my mind compared to the rgb strips and the they're not they don't leave any like sticky residue i have two of them um standing straight up on their stand and this is how it looks like on the back next again a little plant and this is like a 3d printed curry that my friend made for me um i, I definitely want to paint this i'm trying to find like the right paint to use other random tiny like knickknacks a little panda a little i got these from like anime stores and like uh random gift bags this is something small but it's like super essential for keeping like the cable on my desk like kind of tidy so um i like that this one comes in teal and i use it to keep the main charger for my phone and then a connection cable to charge my um, keyboard because i do have a wireless mechanical keyboard and also this one connects directly to my computer in case i need to transfer any files from my phone my drawing tablet of choice is the yuan canvas 22 plus um i'll have a dedicated review on my channel coming up soon i love this thing and i have my pen like tucked up right here and even though it does not have any any, like buttons on the side I actually really like that because I have this thing and I love drawing on it the curtains are new they're from Walmart they're blackout curtains and I really like that actually um <laughs> type them up with tape since I want no light to come in I'm a night owl my wallpaper is actually live wallpaper from this app on steam it's a kindred spirit blossom skin from League of Legends I don't play that champion I just think that skin is super cool the other wallpaper that I've seen on the preview um i'll link down below as well since i have a bunch of them saved this tiny little chair is actually a phone holder but it's like my phone is too big so i just kind of leave it right here since it's teal teal as you guys can see blue teal those are my favorite colors i'll try to have everything linked down below so if there's something specifically that you wanted to know where i got it from you can feel free to ask me in the comment section and i wanted to let you guys know that fazebo is having a black friday sale as well as a cyber monday sale coming up soon so you can get a really good discount on this desk and i highly recommend this unit just because it has a lot of space and the bonus is that it's a stand 
expanding dust it's overall much better for your health if you enjoyed this video check out my previous setup tour right here and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye